Hustle, I'm your host, Derek Show, and I'm here by myself this week. It's I'm so nervous. Um, I've got my live streamer, so there's 25 other people watching, um, and then whoever decides to watch this show is going to be watching it. Today, we're going to be making a Vinique recipe. That's this crazy shimmery liqueur. We've used it a couple times. If you search for Vinique shimmery liqueur review on YouTube, you'll probably find us near the top, pretty close, and that's the stuff right there. It's uh, got a little bit of a shimmer to it. That's why it's called shimmery liqueur, duh. And this recipe submitted by Eric. Eric sent this. He's from uh, Simply Made Cocktails. You can search him up on the, the YouTubes. And I think it's youtube.com slash Simply Made Cocktails. Two ounces of Vinique. One ounce of banana rum. Eric called for Crujan. I don't seem to have Crujan for banana. I have Crujan for everything else, but not banana. So I'm going to use Malibu because I have Malibu banana that I'm, I don't even know if it's open. It is open. It's open. What do we use this for? Oh, then we could use this instead of 99 bananas. I don't know, it, was... it smells nice. All right. It's spur of the moment. Review at least I'm guessing. Tastes like bananas. You could totally use this instead of banana liqueur. This is banana liqueur. Um, but it's not as potent. It's only 21% instead of what 99 or whatever 99 proof. Uh, and that's like. Not 100 proof, so it's, I don't know. You figure out the math. And then he also called for Citrouge from Patron. I don't have it. I'm going to use my next favorite, well, my first favorite, Senior Curacao. This is a blue Curacao, clear Curacao, orange Curacao. This one, as you can see, is clear. So you can use this. You could use uh, whatever other orange liqueur you want. Try to stay away from bottom shelf triple sec if you can, but if you can't, whatever. Then we're going to add some pineapple juice. Done. And again, orange liqueur, triple sec. You know, like Cointreau, or Cointreau, for those of our French audience. I will not even say that. And that's it. That's the whole recipe. You're going to shake it. You're going to strain it. You're going to throw it in a martini. I just started uh, with these Nick and Nora glasses, so I figured I'd, I'd start using some of them, and it's cool. You can use a martini glass if you want to. Whatever. I will also find my little prongs. Oh. They were over here earlier. Where'd they go? They're fine. Me. So we're going to prong that up. Let's measure this. We're going to do our two ounces. I'm going to do the Vinique last because I have this in my hand already. We're going to do, what was this, a half ounce? Boom. Half ounce. I don't remember the last time I actually made cocktails. Ian's always making the cocktails. So this is, this is awkward. I don't know what to do. An ounce of Malibu. Boop, doop, doop. What do you think it's gonna taste like, Jennifer? Awesome. Super awesome in a glass. It's got a little bit of a, a grape or peach flavor, depending. Grape, not peach. Or both. Whatever. Or grape. Two ounces. Or, or the, the, I like how it still gotta. shimmers even when it's mixed, or at least last time it did. It, it shimmers as long as you don't let it sit for days. And I'll pour that in here. I don't know if it's still going to shimmer after this. And then a half ounce of pineapple juice. Just to make sure it's not too purple. Any thoughts on color? It's going to be a weird color. It's going to be weird. Shake that up. I need some place to pull my stuff. Chill the glass. Now it's cold. Now can we get it off? Yes, we can. Oh, the loveliness. Unique tropical passion. I don't know where the passion comes from. Maybe because of the color. Done. Sort of. Because of the oh, it's pineapple in coconut. See, here's the issue. When you shake the Vinique, you're gonna be giving it, you're gonna lose the shimmer for a while, although it's still, no. It's shimmering. It's shimmering. Just it's just it. cloudy <laughs> shimmer. It looks like, kind of looks like the mica and stuff in, in the ocean water when it kind of kicks up and it gives that little, like near the end where the shoreline is and you can see some of the, the flashiness from it. Uh, or, like a really cool purple paint job. But for you guys, you probably can't see it shimmer. 
it is shimmering trust me uh, it's kind of neat that it does that it's kind of a pearl essence kind of look to it and the beauty does smell like kind of got a little grapey thing going on here. yeah I don't get any banana out of it but the beauty of this glass over just a martini if you're walking around with it it doesn't slosh around as much because it's they're not flared out as much. Not that our martinis we normally carry are. They're pretty steep. But this is a, a little bit more fancy. And there's an... Oh, it is. It gets more shimmery as you sit. Well, tell you one thing. A quarter ounce or a half ounce or whatever of pineapple juice does not tame the beast within this drink. It has got alcohol in the finish. It tastes like... Kind of like grape, a little bit, but it has a definite, like a, a, a banana citrus thing, which is really interesting because I'm picking out banana, but it's subtle. Most of the time, when you're using a banana liqueur, if you're using a very striking banana liqueur, it's like you're getting the, um, the runts action going on, like that banana runt. Then if you use a kind of a crappy one that doesn't have a lot of flavor, like I don't even taste banana, why did I waste my, my money? This one, you get it, but you have to think about it. You take a sip, and this might be a drink that if you're sipping this with friends, and they're like, oh, what is, what, what's that flavor? It's tropical flavor. You just go, call out banana. And see if, then they'll go, oh, yeah, there it is. But definitely has sweet banana, grape. I almost get peach schnapps in here, but I will get yelled at, even though I've had some people comment saying, Monique has a peach flavor to it. I get peach out of there. Pineapple juice, not so much. That's just the tropical, and it probably gives a nice little um, foaminess to it. It is getting really cool. Question it, of the day. And everything suspends. Yes, question of the day! Favorite syrup to add to a dessert? Dessert syrups! My aunt, her favorite syrup lately is the hibiscus because she took some hibiscus flowers home and she's been putting on her ice cream, and now she like always puts hibiscus flowers on her ice cream, like one or two. Uh, I've heard a lot of like, well, maybe not demerara syrup. That seems kind of weird to just throw molasses. Orgeat. Or like, yeah, like an almond syrup, like orchard or falernum. What's your favorite syrup to add? I'm a stupid American. It's always just been chocolate syrup, strawberry syrup, and caramel syrup. Those are the three. There aren't Caramel's any. Caramel's the best. Caramel is super wicked awesome. So if you like but caramel. But only if it's like an ice cream stand where they get that hot gooey. Oh, you like hot like caramel? squeeze. Caramel. Yeah, and then the caramel that you put in the microwave to microwave yeah. it, it's cool, but it takes a while. And it's like, I just want to eat ice cream. I, I'm not making a process out of it. And then it, you've got to microwave it. Then you've got to seal it back up and then re-microwave yeah. it. But you've got to change the time on which you microwave it because the contents continue to reduce over time because you're eating it or whatever it is consuming. Um, so there you go. Favorite dessert syrup. And do you use syrups that you also use for cocktails in your desserts? Because if you're smart, you do. Because if you have a bottle of syrups that's this big, unless you're making cocktails for parties and you're just putting a little in your cocktail, a half ounce here and there, this is going to last you forever. But if you put it on on ice creams and I don't know what else. Using coffee. Like coffee, an syrup yeah. and a coffee. This, this would be good. This Basically, if you wanted to use a rich demerara syrup, you can use that instead of like sugar in the raw. And you, especially, especially iced coffee. Yeah. Because iced coffee, because it's so cold, it doesn't, it, whatever that is, it doesn't break down the sugar into a, a syrup very easily or into a, a liquid. It doesn't dissolve. So having a liquid would make more sense. That might be something I should use for my, my coffees. That's it. Uh, question of the day, we did it. Cocktail is done. If you don't have shimmery liqueur, at the end of this video, I will put the review for the Vinique Shimmery Liqueur, so you could just click right on that and get to it, because otherwise, I don't know what else I put at the end. That's it, we're done. Everyday drinkers, you can go to austrix.com right now if you want to get these dainty little Nick and Nora glasses, or martini glasses, or any other glasses, or your simple syrups. It's all there in one place, one stop shop. Go there, everydaydrinkers.com for everything else. We're teaching how to drink. Uh, the, uh, by the way, I'm Derek and that's Ian. Oh, yeah. In case yeah. I haven't done that part, because we're just like, oh, shit. Oh, this actually smells very interesting. Um, it's purple. It's, uh, captivate your friends with this drink. It shimmers when you shake it, refreshingly delicious and smooth and shimmery.